All right. My f continuing on with the Sonic Marathon. Now it's for the now it's time for the Sonic game that a lot of you have been waiting for us to do for some reason. <laughs> it's Sonic the Hedgehog CD Yay. for the Sega CD. Now, if you if you are a tech geek, you might have noticed just from the scrolling clouds alone that I am not playing the original Sega CD version <laughs> of this game, and by the quality of the CG animation here. Uh, yeah, we're playing the port on the Sonic Gems collection because I no longer have the JVC XI that my uncle lent me. He took it back, taking Sonic CD with him. Though I will say that the, the port is is pretty damn good. It's, the load times are faster than the original, but it's missing some graphical effects that the original uh, release had. I actually remember that like I that we went to Toys R Us and got a like a double pack of like Sonic R and Sonic CD. No, it was Sonic. No. You're talking about the PC. Yeah, package. the PC version of oh. Sonic of Sonic CD. And I tried to play it and it didn't play. It didn't work. What what OS were you using? Windows. I don't know. Uh, Uno. Who cares? The old white one we had. Yeah, but no, anyway. no racism intended. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, uh, one of the one of the the uh, perks of having the the PC version or the uh, Gems Collection version is you get the higher quality intro. In the original release, uh, the intro was running off the CD's hardware, and it looked like pixelated shit. <laughs> it did. Um, so we obviously get this higher quality animation, which just looks awesome, by the way. Although you can't really do a lot of this shit in the game. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you can roll like that. <laughs> But, but you can't jump that high. Not nearly this high, and you can't jump on water either. Sega, stop lying to us. And that's not the Death Egg. I think it's Little Planet. I think that's what it's called. I don't know. Little, uh, little Planet. Yeah. Anyway, let's not dawdle any longer. Let's begin this bitch. Yay! Sonic the Hedgehog CD. Welcome to Palm Tree Panic Three. <laughs> Why? No, I don't. I don't know what. I don't know. I, I guess it's just the design of the int the, the the title cards for the stages, but that doesn't mean three at all. It's just part of the title design. Or does does it mean something at all? I, I don't, don't know. know. I don't want to question it. <laughs> but thou must. <laughs> oh, is that a pass sign I saw? Yes, it is. Yay. Rosa, let's go and abuse this bitch. Let's go to the past. Wee! Yep, one of the main gimmicks of Sonic CD is time traveling. In order to get the best ending in Sonic CD, you have to... There's two methods you can do. One, you can travel to the past of any stage and destroy the robot-making machine that can be located in usually an area out of fucking nowhere <laughs> and destroy it. When you destroy that robot-making mach machine... All the enemies on the, in the stage will be gone. They'll be killed, all wiped out. And you have to destroy that robot making robot making machine for every single zone in the game to get the best ending. If that's not your cup of tea, you can also collect 50 rings and reach the end of the stage and jump into the giant ring. And you can you play the special stages to get the time stones. If you manage to get all the time stones, you automatically create good futures for every single stage in the game. For the futures! <laughs> and <laughs> you guarantee a good ending. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> 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 I'm trying to destroy the robot making machine. Oh my god. <laughs> but in order to travel through time at all, well, first off, here's this is the robot making machine right here. This is what you need to destroy in each zone in the past. You can only find this machine in the past. Only in the past. See, now that we destroyed it, we can guarantee a good future for this particular zone. Well, this particular act, anyway. Yeah. See, Sonic made a good future in zone one. And we have to do that like 17 more times. <laughs> you serious? I don't know. <laughs> it's been a while. I'm not as familiar with Sonic CD as I am with Sonic 1, 2, 3, and Knuckles. Palm Tree Panic 2. Palm Tree Panic 2, 3. <laughs> <laughs> Was there a pass sign here? Yes, there is. I love it when I start with a pass sign. Yeah, pass signs are your best friend if you're trying to get the good ending. You want to avoid future signs at pretty much all costs. Because if you go into the future without breaking up the robot making machine... I know that I can, I can name it so much better, I know, but... Um... You, the future will be desolate and bleak, and just overall not very fun to look at. It's all very machine-like. Yeah, exactly. See, you worded it better than I did. <laughs> Eggman's already taking over the world. But in order to time travel at all, you need to build up speed, and you need to keep up with. You need to keep the speed constant for a certain amount of time. When you do, you time travel. 
seems simple enough, doesn't it? You see, this is the reason. You see, uh, it's also the reason why I'm, you know, stuttering all over the place because I want to make sure I have a clear stretch of land so I can time travel. And this loop is probably going to prevent me from time traveling at all. But let's do one of the new moves, the Super Peel Out, which only makes its appearance in this game in terms of console versions. Oh, good. We. <laughs> yeah, in terms of console games, this is the only time the Super Peel Out makes its appearance. It does make a, an appearance in some of the Game Gear games, but other than that, this is it. Which always perplexed me as to why, because I really do like Super Peel Out. It's not a big deal to a lot of people, but honestly, I think it's pretty damn cool. Using your legs to, to make you go faster instead of just rolling into a ball for the only time. Yeah, yeah, you should use it more. Well, the development time between this game was between 1 and 2. So this game was in development at the same time 2 was. And it kind of shows because... Oh, well, that's the other machine. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Okay, now we'll we take, can continue We'll take on. that. The sprite... The... Sonic's graphics are the exact same from Sonic 1. Yeah. These aren't Sonic 2 sprites. You don't see... You don't see a little... A little smile in, on his face. Well, there's no smile on his face at all. Oh, yeah. I forgot about this Metal Sonic projector that you can destroy if you want to. It, you don't need to do it in order to get the good ending, but... It makes you feel better. It makes animals roam the lands. <laughs> Fucking activist. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... PETA, you take it too far. Yeah, pretty seriously, PETA. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Damn you, PETA. PETA's a stupid name. Can you imagine someone naming their child PETA? Well, PETA stands for something. I know. I forgot. I don't uh, care. But the, I think the protection and ethical treatment of animals. I don't. I don't. Know. I think that's what it's meant. I do not know, and I do not care. I hate I, I'm trying to get 50 rings so I can get, showcase special stage, but you know, screw it. <laughs> we made a good future anyway, so it's not really a big deal. Huzzah! So, like I was saying before we were interrupted by PETA, <laughs> uh, yeah, Sonic CD's development time was between 1 and 2. This is technically the first game where the spin dash is introduced because it's... I, I'm saying that because it's nowhere near as uh, useful as it is in Sonic 2 and thereon, because in this game you have to wait until Sonic completely charges the spin up in order to use it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Extra life. Hey, we got Robotnik boss battle number one. In the giant ostrich mechanic. Fuck you, neck. fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> that was quick. Yes, it was. Oh, look, he has a jetpack. Wee. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Flowers! Yes! Honestly, the super peel out is more preferable than the spin dash in this game because with the super peel out, you can take off immediately after charging it. And you can just press down anyway when you get the boost of speed, so it's technically like a spin dash. Welcome to the Collision Chaos Zone. Collision Chaos 3. And who oh, is this? Look, it's Amy Rose. Yes, this is the exact this is actually the first game she ever made her appearance. By just And chasing then you. she looked like a Sonic the Hedgehog and Drag. <laughs> and Metal Sonic just came and took her away, but we don't have time for that. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a Mario type of situation, if you know what I mean. Gotta save the princess, even though she's not a princess. No. no and just for a little clarification, yes, we are playing the American version of Sonic CD. We're not playing the Japanese version, so that, yes, we are hearing the American soundtrack. <laughs> yeah, for some for some reason, I think it might have something to do with licensing or something like that. No idea. The Japanese version and the American version have different soundtracks. I won't go into a matter of which one I like the most, Japanese, but... <laughs> I really, I, I could, uh, I appreciate the the, uh, the American soundtrack because there are a few tracks I do like in this game more than the Japanese one. Were those, were those, are those what I think are, are they No, are? these aren't as annoying as slices, but they're definitely related. I call them, I don't know. <laughs> Let's just go. The, well, it wasn't going to be funny anyway. The ciphers, I guess? Ciphers. 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 Yeah, cipher, ciphers. Ciphers. <laughs> Whoa, what oh, was that? That was the robot making machine in the future. But you see, it's already broken, but what we need to do is we need to go into the past and break it. And I'm looking for a past sign. Really taking my yeah. sweet time doing Don't it. Don't say death when we're around. You say so say something more say something different than death. Like like so say like say a hamburger time. Hamburger time. Yeah, hamburger time, yeah. Actually I think there's a past sign. Over here to the right. Oh, there you know. Good. Good. <laughs> very good. Very, very good indeed. 
<laughs> Ow. But can I make it to the past? Let's find it. Wee! Oh, uh, we're in a ball. Yeah. It's, it, one of the biggest pain in the asses in this game is trying to time travel. Especially when you're trying to get the good... Yes, I am attempting to get the good ending just by destroying the robot machines. Because we want the best ending. Yeah, I do want to get the best ending, even though it's really not much of a big deal, to be honest. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. Wait a minute. What? When you were in the air, it looked like, it looked like there was the ocean up there. So what, are we Like, the sky is wavy on the top. Yeah. It's like they cut it backwards. I, yeah. I don't know. Maybe that's why it's called Collision Chaos. <laughs> I guess. Well, I guess we'll One of the it. weird things... Uh, one of the weird things about Sonic CD, though, like, even though the soundtracks are different, the past... The, uh, each zone has a different uh, track for the circumstance. Like, uh, there's a track for the past, the, fu the present, and the future. The past music in the American release is the exact same music in the Japan release. Huh. So... What happened? Like, you couldn't get all the licensing rights for the songs, I guess? Or maybe they couldn't think of any more to make, or, or any more to compose. I guess, but, I don't know, it just seems inconsistent to me. I oh, really yeah. do like this past theme, though. Oh yeah, by the way, when you get an extra life... Gotcha! <laughs> that was quick. Um, speaking of which, um, when you get an extra life, you don't hear the the catchy jingle when you get when you get an extra life. He just says, yes! Yes! Like, like that. Yes! Don't go, Captain Falcon. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Don't go, Captain Falcon. All right, now we can showcase a special stage, stage where we have the goal is to Did run around this 3D plane and bust the shit out of UFOs. Six of them. Yes. Oh joy. There's one. There's two. two. Oh. Ah. oh. <laughs> yeah, you're under a time limit. No, duh. You probably can't read that uh, top middle column there. Uh, what? What? Uh, what did I just say? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but uh, the top middle column. What are the fucking? What the hell is that? <laughs> it's funny. What is that? What is that? Your goal is to destroy all the UFOs. Destroy all the UFOs, you get a time stone. Simple as that. Honestly, I'm not sure what I think about these special stages. I hate the fact that water drains your... Yeah, the, your biggest enemy in the special stages is water. You stand on the water and your time goes down incredibly fast. But, however, if your time limit goes below 20 seconds, a blue UFO will appear and you can destroy it to give yourself more time. Oh look, you got two. You got two continues. I got two extend players, Elliot. Not continues. <laughs> extend players. Totally different. Okay. Say it with me. <laughs> extend players. You didn't say it with me. I don't want to. You're boring. <laughs> and now we're destroying. You're going to talk. Frog eggs. <laughs> what are these things? I think those are the eggs from Finding Nemo. Fish eggs. Yeah. My God. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, Nemo did. Me, Nemo survived. Right, this is actually one of the easiest times to time travel. What we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna take, touch the pass sign here, then we're gonna go up here, and then we're gonna pull Echo the Dolphin, <laughs> <laughs> and time travel. Whoa! Who puts these springs everywhere? <sighs> it's been a while since I played Sonic CD. I only vaguely remember where some of the, where most of the robot machines are. So, forgive me if I do not get the good best ending, but honestly, I'm trying, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I really am Wait trying. As soon as that song started, I got I got a Gex Enter the Gecko vibe to that. Why is that? Because, like, cause like, you know, like, when you, like... Um, hold on, give me a minute. <laughs> I <laughs> forgot what it reminded me of. <laughs> oh, like, you know, you know, like, when you pause it, you know, and then and then that sound where it's like, bang, sound, you know? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. When you r resume the game. Yeah. And it does like, dong sound. Yeah. Yeah, oh, you're right. It does remind me of that. Okay, we just showed a robot machine, so we Yay. can continue on. Let's travel in the future! You can see me! Oh, you can see me! I love fire! Yes, I, I did just show Elliot the Bardock special. <laughs> and he fucking <laughs> loved that entire sequence. I loved it too. I think it's the oh best part my of God. it. I thought it was the best part of that episode. Yeah, I would agree. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay back to Sonic. If you if I burst out laughing, it's because I it's thought of that. Probably because of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, so. this, and this game does involve time traveling, so what better timing? <laughs> Wee! Back to the past. <laughs> Which is the prequel to Back to the Future. <laughs> <laughs>
I wonder when there's going to be a new movie, and I dropped my Pepsi cap. Well, um, up, upon entering the past, I hit a future post. <laughs> yes, because, like, you hit, a, you hit a future post in the past. <laughs> We're <You're> fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck. God, <laughs> why? After a while, it gets annoying. Especially after you already destroyed the robot machine. Why? The robot producing machine. There you go. I'm going to call it that for now. Oh. Just because it sounds better. Oh. Oh, no, special ring. Cool. Yeah. Sonic made a good future in Zone 2. What What happens if you don't make a good future? What does it say? No, it just says Sonic passed uh, oh. the zone. Special stage two. This t yeah, we started to hit six. Is that Jupiter in the background? <laughs> what? Jupiter. I don't know. We. I like these. I like the special stages more than Sonic Two, but at the same time, I don't. <laughs> why does Why does the time has to go so go by faster if you hit water? I, I mean, don't know. I mean, yeah, it's his it's his worst enemy, but I'm just saying, like, why is it necessary? Fuck me. What the? Okay, so uh, screw it. Just trying to get one. Just focus on the others. And that sound effect that we just heard is the blue UFO materializing, which I'm probably gonna. I should probably destroy right now. There we go. See, extra 30 seconds. Awesome. Sweet. Come on. Come on. I really do like this uh, track. Fuck. Did you get hit? Yes, oh, hit. twice. Twice. Major fail. Honestly, everything in this game hates me. Well, a lot of things hate us, but we live on. <laughs> but we press forward. <laughs> no, got the water. Yeah. Fuck! I hate when that happens. We. Yep, that was lucky. Yes. <laughs> that was I, lucky. I totally intend that for ha to happen. That, that yes, that was inten that was intentional. All right, orange time stone. No, they're not chaos emeralds. So I collecting know. all the time stones will only guarantee us a good ending. There's no supersonic at all. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. We get nothing. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Jesus, Elliot. Sorry. So there's seven time stones, right? So yep. So now we're in the good future of collision chaos. Everything's blue, bright. What the well, look fuck at is that. he laughing at? I think he found something. Actually, we're about to enter my least favorite boss fight in Sonic CD. It's the pinball one. I hate this guy. Oh, how we love pinball! Because like pinball, it's fucking luck based. Oh my god. What did you do? I'm gonna say this right now. I think this Japanese boss music for Sonic CD is much better than this song. <laughs> Why is that? Be uh, be this one sounds menacing. You know, you get a threatening vibe from this, and I, I you know, I, I like that. You know, it, this is Robotnik we're talking about here, especially in the classic era, where he was pretty ambiguous, and so you pretty much just classified we, him we as kinda, evil. We kind of, we kind of took him seriously. Yeah. Kinda. Now the Japanese version, as uh, as uh, boss music is. Incredibly cheesy. It's, it's 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 something right out of the '70s disco era. Like it's upbeat. Yeah. And not necessary. Yeah. But I love it for that because it's so freaking cheesy, <laughs> and I get I get more of a Sonic feeling with it than I do. In fact, th one of the reasons why I like the Japanese soundtrack more is because I get more of a Sonic vibe with the soundtrack than this soundtrack. This one is mature. Like, if you got kids playing this game, you better get them under the covers. Well, c considering the music, yeah, because this uh, track actually scared a lot of kids as a kid. And the game over music, don't even get me started on. God, I fucking oh, hate yeah. this Am I making you dizzy yet? <laughs> a little bit. My, my stomach's kind of swirly. Come on, I just need to get past those one barrier. <laughs> yeah. Actually, one of my favorite things of Sonic CD are the Robotnik boss battles. I think these are some of the best Robotnik boss battles in uh, Sonic history. They're more unique Be than the others. They're more unique than the others. It's not a matter of how many times you can hit Robotnik, it's being able to hit him at all. Because once we get up to Robotnik, it's over. The fight's over. You only gotta hit him like three times. And by the time you reach Robotnik, a platform appears under Sonic's feet and you can just freely jump up and hit him like that. That's right. Run! 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 Well, fly. <laughs> Okay, we'll take that. Right. I'll take a Pepsi. You made a good future in Zone 3. Oh, Pepsi. You are my Jesus juice. Oh, how we love thee. The Jesus juice. 